Well, there's always a story behind every movie ever made. And sometimes the story behind the movie is more interesting than the story in the movie itself. And uh, Island of Death is no different. Because at the time I made Island of Death, I was almost a novice director. I had a vast experience uh, in TV shows. I've done drama and game shows and music and everything else on TV with the very rudimentary means of the 70s because I was working for Greek TV and Greek TV was still black and white. And if we wanted to go anywhere close to lavish, that meant we shot black and white 16 mil film. But I had already shot uh, a movie. It was called uh, Death Has Blue Eyes. And in some way, that movie was the forefather of all the other movies I ever made. Are you ready, Christine? I was always attracted by the paranormal, the psychological, the thriller, the suspense element. And uh, Island of Death was none of the above. Island of Death was a recipe movie. A recipe movie in the essence that I made it because I needed to make money. It was a very clear motivation, which today despite the multiple interpretations in thousands of websites around the world, it's still the truth. I didn't want to make a cult movie. I didn't want to make the most violent and perverse movie ever made. I wanted to make a movie that would make money. And the way it happened was, I still recall, very strange. Uh, with a friend of mine who was a film producer, we went to see Texas Chainsaw Massacre in an open-air theater in Athens. And we were appalled by the violence. And after the movie, we were talking about Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And my friend says, you know, they made that movie for $100,000 and it made millions. And I said, why don't we make a movie for $30,000? and still be able to make millions. He said, God is right there. how are we going to do that? And I said, we're going to make a movie that's more violent than Texas Chainsaw Massacre, more perverse from every point of view. And we're going to stuff in that movie every perversion and every violent act imaginable. Well, that to my mind was the key to foreign distribution, the key to foreign sales. So I sat down and in a week, I wrote the script of Island of Death, and I wrote it formulaically. I wrote it with a formula in mind. I wrote it deciding I'm going to be disgusting, I'm going to be perverse, and I'm going to be violent in my content. And uh, years later, when the movie was shown to distributors around the world, people would come and ask me, is that really you? I mean. This is the way you feel about life. This is the way you see the world. And I said, no, no, that's, that's the opposite from what I am. Um, this is the way I wanted to make a movie that would make money. Uh, was I right about that? Well, movies are not always a form of artistic expression for their directors and writers and the creative people behind them. Sometimes they're a motivation to stay alive stay afloat and this is Tell what Island of right. Death was for me at the time and I was absolutely a hundred percent right it worked it made money and it made me a name almost bankable for uh, financiers that would be prepared to put money in a similar movie same genre even more pushing the edge pushing the envelope did I make that movie? I did not. And there is a story behind it also. He 
my DP, dear friend that has worked with me for many, many years, uh, was held up in his previous movie and couldn't come to start my movie, therefore I had to become my own DP and uh, camera operator, and I did operate the camera. And because I was running out of money and I couldn't pay one of the actors that I needed at the time, um, he wanted something equivalent to today's $80. I decided to play the part myself. Now, remember that it was painful. Uh, not for me, but for the audience, because I'm a lousy actor. Um, I don't know how I rate as a director, but as an actor, take my word, I'm a lousy actor. And um, I played the role of a self-made detective investigator slash mystery writer who suspects that there's something wrong with the couple in the movie and he starts asking questions. Questions lead to conclusions and at some point he has what he needs which is evidence. He has a murder. My name is Dimitri Spartas. I'm a novelist. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm sorry to come in just uninvited but the uh, door was open. I see. Uh, well, I'd like uh, to see you for some time. Fine. Uh, do you mind if my wife goes and lies down on you? Understand she's not feeling very well. Well, I understand after that. Okay. What happened? Okay. Fine. Um, have a seat. Sure. As well, I uh, told you, I'm a novelist. Yes. I'm working here in Mykonos, writing a novel, mainly about people, tourists, and uh, crime. Was Island of Death the most perverse and violent movie ever made? Well, probably uh, for the 70s, it was a pretty violent and perverse and bizarre movie. Uh, but the 80s and the 90s brought even a studio product that was much more violent and much more twisted and still celebrated by the critics. Because I think that the critics uh, boost elements that even the directors don't know they had in their movies, like for instance, they discovered stuff about my movie that I never thought I'd put there. Uh, the first time that the movie was released in, uh, in the UK, theatrically, uh, I read the review and uh, I was astonished that the critic who was writing the review found out that I intentionally contradicted the dark souls of my protagonists with the bright, brilliant sun and the white uh, lime walls of Mykonos. That, to me, was the first contact with reality that uh, critics never, never see your product, your movie, the way the audience sees it. Uh, of course, I was happy because as a first, second-time director, I got a terrific review about a movie uh, 